Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. The temperature is 91. The forecast, toasty, humid, with a chance of thunderstorms. Your falls, Notre Dame, and shine forth brilliantly. Coach Tate, think, Luca Braid, study all night, formulate, get your ideas together, graduate, and subjugate. Ladies and gentlemen, You tell me where there's a tailgater. So who's going to win the game? Notre Dame. Score is going to be 28 to 24. What's up, Dad? Hi, Sam. A lot of us Notre Dame fans realize that we need something to be identified with when we have our tailgaters, like at Green Field, covered with cars, and you can't tell where your party's at. So, in 1986, I decided to make a tailgater identification module. And so taking a picture from the Rockney Club and New Rockney, decided that I could have made a inflatable golden dome and I went to a local place in Cleveland and told them I would like you to make a golden dome with a statue of Newt Rockney on top and I gave them a picture of the golden dome picture of Newt Rockney you know with his sort of rotund belly holding a ball in one hand and I would have him holding a book in the other hand so that uh, one I didn't want to do anything sacrilegious such as putting the Virgin on top of this novelty, but to have a picture of some, a man holding a football and a book. hope that would please Father Hesburgh, having something intellectual. So then, the night before our going to the Tim Theater, <laughs> I went to pick it up, and this is what we got. This is, uh, this is called a breakdown in communication. I said it pictured a golden dome with new rocking on top of it. What are you going to get? Yeah, this was unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> cheer, cheer for old Notre Dame. Uh, he's like, God, huh? Unbelievable. Now, you see, he's missing an arm because he once upon a time had this arm, Will, and I'll show you what he did with it. And this arm was carrying this football. This was all inflated. And of course we had here, you could put a Velcro paste on it, something. This was the book. It went and it went in his left arm. You see, and I, when I, as soon as I got it, I cut this up in order to make a decent, valid golden dome. So here's what we did. I kind of cut it apart. We ended up with this golden dome here, which I made out of the right forearm, the right forearm of the original New Rockney set. No, there's no difference. Can't tell the difference. That is the story of the first college inflatable tailgater module. And here's a little book which says Summa from Aquinas and God, Country, and Notre Dame on that book here. This is uh, something for <laughs> world history. I said it pictured a golden dome with new rocking on top of it. What are you going to get? Unbelievable. But I thought uh, the first inflatable uh, golden dome should be saved for posterity. You can see it's a good rocking lookalike. But it, uh, it was obviously impossible. Okay. <laughs> Shake down the thunder, thunder from the thunder sky. Nancy, oh, by one.